What's up guys, Matt Tolber. So today we're gonna do a review of this Jackery Explorer 1000 Plus. I just did a review of their new 1000 version two, which is very comparable to this. You guys can watch that full review after this. But the main thing I wanna do is show you this, but I also wanna kinda of tell you the main differences between this and the version two. I know I don't physically have the other one here, but they literally look almost identical. This just one's just a little bit bigger. So these are the main differences between the 1000 Plus and the version two. This has 1264 watt hours of capacity whereas the version 2 has 1070 watt hours of capacity this has a 2000 watt inverter whereas the version 2 has a 1500 watt inverter this has 4000 watts of peak power that has 3000 watts of peak power this can take up to 800 watts of solar and fully charge in about two hours that can handle up to 400 watts of solar max this is expandable up to 5,000 watt hours of extra capacity because you can add three of their expandable batteries whereas the version 2 it's not expandable it's just stuck at the 1070 watt hours this weighs 32 pounds, whereas that weighs 24 pounds. The last difference is this has two 18 watt USB A's, whereas the version two only has one. But those are the main differences between the two. Now let's take a quick look up close and personal to this 1000 plus. All right guys, here's the front of the Jackery Explorer 1000 plus. To turn it on, you just hold this power button for a couple seconds. See the green light turns on and the screen will turn on. See so your input, your output, so you're at 100%. You'd see the graph, and you see a Bluetooth Wi Fi because there is an app, which I'll show you guys in a second. Over here, you got your 12 volt cigarette lighter. Turn that on. You can tell it's on if there's that green light right there. Turn that off. And over here, you got a light, a low, high, and SOS. And that is actually very bright for a light on a power station. It's your USB section. You got two 18 watt USB A's, which are fast charging because a lot of these are only 12 watt or even down to five. And then you got two 100 watt USB C's, which are also fast charging. Turn that on. You can see it's on when you press that. Over here is your AC section, 120 volt, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So basically anything you can plug into your house at home, this can run. It just comes down to how much capacity you need. And uh, you can see up here, it actually shows 120 volt, 60 Hertz. Which is really nice and obviously you'll do 50 hertz if you need that where you live you can turn it off by pressing that in the top it does have jackery's new handle which is much better than the old style you know that was like always there so it's flat on the top you can put stuff on top of it obviously you can add expansion batteries to it now and uh, just much more convenient and space saving to have that then on the side it's just a fan vent in the back here they just got a sticker where it says the product information and like specs of it you got a spot where you charge it and also add your expansion ports here. You just open that up. Here's your AC wall charging spot. Comes with your AC orange cord here. This can fully charge in 1.7 hours in fast charge mode. And then also you get a car charging cord with it, which would go into one of your DC inputs. You could actually get a second one if you wanted to, if you wanted to charge it up faster. So you could plug one into one and one into the other. Otherwise, you can obviously plug your solar panels. You can do 400 watts of solar in one and 400 watts of solar in the other one for a total of 800 watts of solar. For max solar though, you are gonna need to get their solar adapter so that you can plug in more than one solar panel into each one. And this is the port for the expansion battery. So if you do buy an extra expansion battery, you plug the big thick cord in here and then you plug it into the expansion battery. Like I said, you can get up to three expansion batteries for a total of five. 5,000 watt hours and then on this side you do have another fan spot then on the bottom you have nice orange grippy rubber feet for it so it doesn't slide around get you guys so this thing has lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are the safest and longest lasting battery chemistry you could get right now. 4,000 cycles down to 70% of the original capacity. So that's basically daily use of full charge and discharge for like 10 years. You can get up to a five year warranty with this. You just gotta make sure you register on their website. I'll have a link you guys can click on the description to make sure you get your full five year warranty with it. This has over 62 forms of protection and some other protection. And then having that five year warranty, with those lithium iron phosphate batteries. I would say, in my opinion, this is a very, very safe power station. You can also operate this between 14 and 113 Fahrenheit. So you can take this winter camping, summer camping, fall camping, whatever you want to do with it. If the Bluetooth Wi-Fi symbol's not on, you just hold these two buttons right here. And you'll see it start flashing. You see it starts flashing, now you can connect the app. Here's Jackery's app. You can see the Explorer 1000 Plus is already connected. So I just click on it. The power will go up to 100% because I have this fully charged. You can see the temperature, 76 Fahrenheit. You can change that to Celsius if you would like to. It's your input. So if you're charging, it would show something there. Here's your output. You can turn on your USB section, AC, DC section. It's all very instant, very, very quick. And you got your light even, low, high, SOS. 
And then you got your screen timer. You can have it to turn off right now. You can have it set for two minutes and then it'll turn off or you can have it stay on for two full hours. And then you got settings over here. You can see, you can change the device name if you would like to. You got charge settings. I just have it on fast charge, but you can do quiet charge if you're very sensitive to fans. The fans are very quiet on this power station already, but if you want it to be a little quieter and charge a little slower, you can do that. Here's energy saving mode. So basically like say if you have batteries or something plugged into this and you know it'll be fully charged after a few hours, you can walk away from it. Don't have to worry about the inverter draining it. It'll shut off after eight hours, 12 hours, 24 hours, or you can just have it as never turn off and keep your power station running. It also has auto time off. So basically, you know, say you wanna run some lights or something for a certain amount of time and then you just know I'm good after eight hours, two hours, whatever, it will just shut off regardless if something was continuing to charge or you could just set it to never and you have your device number, your firmware if you need to upgrade it i do like that you can see your device specifications and even read the manual from here all right guys it's time to actually test this thing out we're going to start from very small easy to charge products see how much estimate it has then we're going to move up to stuff that pushes this 2000 watt inverter and see if it can actually run 2000 watt all right guys let's turn on the usb section and turn on these led lights for some cool mood stuff it's pulling two watts so basically this will run forever anything with leds well this thing will power forever light string lights all that type of stuff so i'm charging my little portable fan one of my led lights i bring car camping all the time and then my bug zapper which also has a light all at the same time it's only pulling 16 watts it says the max of 99.8 hours so basically this has no issue charging small devices like this or right, now i'm charging a lantern my 7,000 lumen flashlight and a really big power brick. And it's taking around 30 watts and it says it'll run for 60 hours. Obviously these are not gonna take 60 hours to charge. So like I said, uh, it will charge this stuff super simple. All right, let's do the AC now, turn the AC inverter on. This is a massive shop fan, but it is nice to have this type of stuff running out there. I'll turn it on low and then I'll show you high here and see how much power it draws. So on low, it says it'll run for about 14 hours put it on high now so on high it's pulling 95 watts and says it'll run for just over 10 hours but this is extremely powerful fan even on low you're not going to really need that usually but this will actually keep you really cool when you're out camping so i plugged in my rapid charger these are powerful batteries unfortunately this one's already charged so it's just charging this one it's pulling about 130 ish watts it says it'll uh, run for about almost eight hours these do not take long to charge on these rapid chargers so it will charge stuff like your power tools and stuff like that batteries very easy so let's do my coffee pot should be uh, almost 700 watts this will run for about 1.7 hours this thing will be fully brewed in you know about five minutes or so so it won't pull that much power but it will definitely run a coffee maker all right guys we're really starting to push it we got three electric heaters here we're going to start with the small one quick obviously it spikes up quick and then it'll actually go around 500 watts so this will run just over two hours no issue running the small one let's run the next biggest one here turn that on put it on blue we're pulling over 1100 watts this is it'll run for about an hour obviously these aren't really meant to run these type of things long term unless you have a ton of solar or uh, you know you have some of the expandable batteries now let's turn the big bad boy on this one's gonna push it for sure already over a thousand Woo! 1500 watts right there baby I'll leave it on for a couple seconds, but this shouldn't have any issues with a 2000 watt inverter running that. The only thing you have to think about is capacity with something like this, because this will run anything that you can plug into your wall outlet. Yeah, it's running it, no issue. So uh, let's turn this off. Any induction stove will easily work on this power station because it has a 2000 watt inverter. Like this is a 1300 watt induction stove, so I could easily cook on this thing. Let's pretend we got food in our microwave, okay? So it says it'll run the microwave for about an hour and we don't need to cook for an hour. So we'll easily run a microwave. All right, I know some of you guys like electric kettles. So let's uh, boil some water here quick and see how much power we end up using. All right, we started at 94%. We're pulling over 1400 watts from this electric kettle. We got a liter of water in here. So we'll see what percentage we're at after we boil this water. You can see we're down to 90%. On the app, you can see it's pulling 1,406 watts, which is the same as on the screen there. Should turn off here soon because the water's basically boiling. I mean, it is boiling. So hopefully it turns off. There we go. So we're down to 84%. So it did use 10% of the battery. We got a liter of water boiling, very extremely boiling, and it's still boiling. 
So, uh, yeah, she handled it no issue. All right, guys, we have arrived at the ultimate test to see if this thing can truly handle potentially over 2,000 watt hours with this inverter. We're going to use a toaster and a Keurig, and I know this pulls over 1,400 watts usually. That pulls, I think, like 700 or something like that. So we might be at like 2,100 watts. So let's see if we can make breakfast with this thing. Fill this bad boy up. Make sure to get your Tolbers camping cup on tolbers.com. See if we can do this without spilling. A little bit, not too bad. Full to the top, that's how we like it. We have some pumpkin spice. I was thinking about using the other coffee maker, but we're gonna go with our, uh, what is it? Starbucks fall blend. So they're both good. So let's use this bad boy up. So we got some cinnamon raisin bagels. So we're about to have two of these bagels. So we're gonna actually run this thing twice, but we're gonna run it at the same time as the Keurig. All right, got that one, get this one ready. All right, here we go, guys. We're at 84%. Bam, toaster, let's see what we get up to. 700 watts, get this going, turn that on. You guys ready? Let's see what it goes up to. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, 2,100 watts. This has a 2,000 watt inverter, so let's see if this can handle it. And I got heat right next to it too. I can feel the heat right here. Come on, Jackery, don't let me down, boy. That's actually very quiet for pushing 2,100 watts on a 2,000 watt inverter. And yes, guys, I am having strawberry cream cheese on cinnamon raisin bagels. It sounds delish. Oh, did it work or did it over? Oh, I failed, guys. Look at that. I had it turned down so low. I'm like, no way it's done, dude. Well, we're gonna have to run it some more. Come on, baby. I hear that coffee brewing. You hear it? Sounds like a tornado's coming through. It's sweating, dude. You see the coffee maker sweating, dude? Yes, good jackery. Made my coffee. This should be done soon. Ooh, this is probably done. Don't fly out. Oh, snap. So, uh, yeah, definitely toast it. Time to uh, make our second one. Got some peanut butter that I brought from home. Get them peanut butter overcooked bagels right there. But at least we got a nice warm coffee. I don't want to overcook these ones. Hopefully they're okay. Boop. It's a little cheap toaster, but she did the job. Okay, so we, we overcooked them a little bit. I'm not used to using this uh, little cheap toaster, but uh, it did the job. I almost forgot to show you guys my fridge here. So it's pulling about 36 watts as it'll run for 37 hours. Obviously once this gets to temp, cause I just turned it on, it will turn the compressor off. So it will run a lot longer than 36 hours. Just smashing these bagels, but to have our Greek yogurt here, for some protein. I got this massive orange juice cause that was the smallest I had. And I got coffee, bro. I don't know which to drink. Guys, this also has pass through charging and UPS mode. So if you had your medical devices, fridges, computers, or anything plugged into this, and the power goes out, it will transfer from your grid power to the battery power instantly. So your computer doesn't shut off, your fridge doesn't shut off, anything like that. So let's actually test that out quick. All right, guys, so right now power is coming from this, through this, to this, so it's passed through. But what we're gonna demonstrate is if the power went out while something was plugged into it. So I'm gonna unplug this quick and make sure that this continues to run. Yep, still running. So it instantly transferred from input to output. So yeah, the UPS mode works. I'll go show you guys a little cabin here in one second. So this is Jackery Solar Saga 100. I got two of them here. They're magnetized together, which makes it nice and simple. Let me set this up. So it's super simple. You just pop it open like that, set it towards the sun. They got two legs, just like that. These are brand new, so they're super tight still. I gotta like break them in a little bit. They each come with one of these long Jackery uh, cords to connect the solar panel to the power station. What's nice is they also have this USB-C and USB-A spot, so you can charge devices directly off of the solar panels without even having a power station. So I do like that. I've never seen that in another uh, solar panel. So let's plug this thing in. Velcro in there. And they stretch out. The solar panels have these little flaps you open right on the top, so it's super simple, and you just plug these in. This part goes up, and you just go to the back of the power station, and you just plug them in like this. If you had more, you just have to get their little adapter, so you could plug like three into each little adapter. So this version actually doesn't use these little adapters, so I just plugged them in like that. As you can see, there is a lot of clouds, and there's trees, so these are behind both. 
but we are getting a few watts it was at like 35 a minute ago um should be 200 obviously in perfect sunlight no trees but these are rated 4.7 stars on the amazon and i've used these before so i know they work good so these weigh about 10 pounds each they have etfe coatings so they last longer and they don't yellow they also have monocrystalline cells which are the best you can get and they're 23 percent efficiency if you are going to get a jacker i'd recommend just getting their solar panels you got the orange cords they just kind of go hand in hand you got the right plugs otherwise you got to get adapters and stuff so yeah i think uh these are a good buy you could also get their 200 watt solar panels these are very simple to take down you just unplug it fold those in basically good to go you can close this little flap here but other than that it's basically done Damn. All right, guys, I got to be out of here in five minutes, so I can't really like open stuff and show you guys a, like a very in-depth view, but you can kind of get a little view of this cabin here. Very cozy. Got three beds. I slept on the middle one. Got a little light up there. And then they have a compost toilet in here. Worked perfect. First time using one. I don't want to open that. You know what I'm saying? No, it's just there's basically nothing in it. Got some extra toilet paper, whatnot. Got a couch, table, a light, a couple more lights right here some blankets and all that cool stuff very nice and then the sink is just this pump thing so there's no running water but obviously they have electricity fridge microwave and stuff it's even got an ac but it was a uh, cool last night so screened indoor here's the patio you can suntan even though there's a lot of trees got a table got somewhere to like clean your fish or whatever see it's this nice hilly area there is like a cabin kind of up there Durango, it's very hilly, so you want to have four-wheel drive or uh, obviously not come in here in the winter. This is walking down to the dock, and they do have a boat they can paddle. Got the American flag. So here's what it looks like out here. It's got a hammock here, fire pit, a couple chairs, a bunch of wood. Yeah, it's very private for a little little tiny cabin here. All right, guys, that was my review of the Jackery 1000 Plus and kind of a comparison to the V2. If you guys want to get either one, I will have a link in the description to both of them and also the review video I did of the V2. Jackery did send it to me. It doesn't change anything. It just means I have to make sure I tell you guys all the specs on it. They're both awesome power stations. Jackery's come a long way since their older versions, and they have really good reviews. So, I mean, you can read other reviews, watch other reviews, whatever you guys want to do. But I think it's awesome. So, if you guys want to get it, I'll have links in the description to it. And uh, I got to head out. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.